Uh, hi, my name is Ben Sanders. I'm Director of Court uh, Operations for the Squim Pickers in Squim, Washington. Uh, we're presently at the Boys and Girls Club, which we uh, rent uh, on the weekends for indoor play uh, when it's raining, which it is now outside, so we get an indoor venue. Uh, we have 134 mem members at present. We'd love to have anyone else in the Squim area, even on the peninsula. We have several people from Port Townsend. Uh, numerous people from uh, Port uh, Angeles that come uh, to play with us and are members of our club, and we'd love to have you. We play pickleball. You see the venue behind me. Uh, we end up with uh, between 25 and 35 people on Saturdays and Sundays each day, and then we play seven days a week. That is Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Uh, at 9 o'clock in the morning till noon, Tuesdays and Thursdays, from 3 o'clock until 5, and on Tuesdays and Thursdays to 3 o'clock also has free instruction for anyone, member or non-member, to come and learn how to play the game of football. How do you become a member and what are the dues? Uh, you can uh, come to any of our events seven days a week, Monday through Friday, plus Saturdays and Sundays end up at the Boys Club. And any of those events will have cards ready. I'll have cards ready for you to sign for membership. Membership is not very expensive, a little more than a buck a day a year. So you're $15 a year for membership. Uh, we will then explain what we're doing uh, in the process right now of building our own courts that will be at Cary Park near the dog park. We're looking to build 12 courts ourselves. The city has chipped in. We've raised well over $116,000 ourselves uh, so that we can end up with a state-of-the-art facility for our members to play in. And we will open it up also to the public. What's the goal? How much do you have to our raise? Our goal is $250,000. Uh, it has to be built with uh, a union uh, and uh, professionally. So we have to go by the city codes. And so it's a little more expensive. But we have uh, a goal of 216,000. We've raised presently, I believe, 116. So we're well on our way to uh, get uh, the courts that we need built. And we're all trying to do it sooner than later because we're running out of years. You're running out of years because of your age bracket, because is that right? Age, our age bracket. We have a lot of young players. Our president's a young player, uh, came from the tennis uh, uh, group, uh, but uh, he's given up tennis and has taken on uh, Pickleball. Doug Hastings is the president of the uh, board. I'm also a three-year board member uh, and also an ambassador to the United States Pickleball Association. Uh, so anytime that you have any questions uh, or the instruction uh, set up or practice or anything, you can give me a call. Uh, my name is, again, Ben Sanders. My number is uh, locally 808-1024 on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Uh, even when I'm not here, I have a group of instructors uh, that come in and continue that instruction uh, once you start it. On Tuesdays and Thursdays at 3 o'clock, you can come on either one of those two days. It's basic instruction, uh, intermediate instruction, and even advanced practice uh, where you can work on lobs, you can work on overhead slams, you can work on all aspects of the game. Can you give us a little tip? you got a paddle and a ball in your hand right now. Can yeah. you give us a little pickleball tip? Oh, one of the tips is most people are afraid that when they stand at the kitchen line, which is the very right in front of the net, they're afraid when the ball comes at them, they're going to get hit. So if you just simply take your paddle, hold it nice and loosely when you're at the kitchen line, put your thumb on the back like this, and then hold it here and touch the paddle. Anything that comes at you, all you do is punch the ball forward. Punch the ball forward. So anything that comes right at you, your face, your chest, over here, all you do is catch it, punch the ball forward. You don't have to be afraid of anything coming right at you because you're all prepared to defend it, and it gets back over the net, extends the game, and you become a pickleball player. How long have you been playing? I've been playing one year. One year? Yeah. And you're already a teacher? Uh, well, some people learn. But I did play uh, racquetball at a high level. Uh, but uh, anyone can play this game. The kids can play, uh, youngsters, uh, young men and women, uh, the older uh, group obviously can play. It's the fastest growing sport in North America, almost the fastest growing sport in the entire world because everyone can play on some level. Uh, it is a wonderful sport. Think of this, some of you that are out there sitting on the couch that have been hurt or injured, I've had two shoulder rebuilds, an anterior discectomy and laminectomy at C7 was taken out and eight was laminated to six. I've had a total right hip replacement, a total left knee replacement, Sir, and my right knee is being replaced next week. I'll close it in a second. Okay, thank you. Um, and the uh, right knee is uh, being replaced next month. You can play. If I can play, you can play. So Ben, what do you have going on here today? 
Uh, today is uh, open play and some rated play. We have a lot of our competitive players that would like to be able to play other competitive players so that they can advance their game. So we've opened up a rated court called Fast and Furious. It's for the top 20% of the men and women that we have in our membership, and so they play on court one. And so you see some pretty advanced play and some pretty quick hands and pretty, pretty advanced uh, uh, pickleball on court one. The other courts are all open courts uh, today. And so we have men and women, uh, they just wait in line. Uh, depending on how long the line is, we have two in or four in, depending on uh, the number of people waiting. Uh, we also, uh, during the week, will have another rated court that we open for novices. And so that we give the, the people that we're instructing, we give them a, a forum for them to be able to play and learn the game at their own rate rather than playing advanced players. Because some of them get a little intimidated uh, by, uh, by the advanced play, the quick game, the fast game, the slam game. And so they get to play each other, they get to play, uh, or they get to play uh, uh, our regular open players like myself and many of the others are out there, we can come in with them, one on one side, one on the other, and then we play the game with them so that they grow exponentially in terms of their ability to play the game because they have advanced players playing with them. And then in many times, they will play against themselves. And they just really have a good time, and we have that court uh, available for them. As we have enough of the novice players available to open the court, which is four, then they're, al they're allowed to play and open their own court and play. What's the age range that uh, there's really no comes range. out? Uh, we are we are looking at uh, somewhere around 16 and up, um, only because uh, we don't really have that many young people under 16 playing where they wouldn't get a chance to play with themselves. I teach. Uh, I've already had three clinics at the Boys and Girls Club. We're hoping to develop a youth league of uh, someplace between 12 and 16 year old boys and girls this summer. That's one of our goals, is to have a small youth league of pickleball players. And we've already got a list of about eight uh, that we're hoping to start with. So we're involving the young people. We just don't have that many youngsters in our membership right now. How many people came out today? Uh, 32. Is that a lot? Uh, that's uh, a pretty typical? good group. We've had as many as 38 on Sunday. Uh, and today we're at 32, so it's a pretty good uh, group. When you consider our membership is 134, 32, you're talking about uh, you know uh, a little bit more than 25% uh, 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 or so. So it's a pretty good turnout. And today you have a tournament. Uh, today is also a tournament. It's a, a we will. I'm I'm scheduling. I'm searching for all of the venues of pickleball. That is, uh, that is uh, uh, mixed doubles singles, uh, women's, men's, uh, and then uh, over a certain age. We're looking, right now we have a tournament coming up on March 26th that's open to the entire peninsula. You don't have to be a member. Uh, it is a mixed doubles tournament, uh, and it's over 55 in one group and under 55 in the other group. And we will have, it's medaled, uh, we'll have gold, silver, and bronze medals for the winners, and that tournament is on the 26th here at the Boys and Girls Club uh, in Squim. I run club tournaments in the meantime, uh, outdoors and indoors, depending on the weather. And uh, today we have a singles uh, match, which is a single elimination with a consolation. It's a medal match, again. Uh, the entry fee only covers the uh, medals. And uh, singles is a, uh, it's on my bucket list, so I'm going to play myself even at 70. Uh, I'm, going to get, I'm going to get one singles game in if it kills me. So I'm going to play singles today myself. And, uh, and anybody else that wants to ever join, we'll have women's uh, doubles uh, coming up. We'll have men's doubles coming up, mixed doubles coming up after the 26th tournament. We're going to have two more mixed doubles tournaments within our club. Uh, and we'll also have another singles match probably just before the summer. So we're always planning something, doing something uh, within the club and without the club. All over and throughout the Olympic Peninsula, we have people that come and play in our tournaments. How about tourists that come to squim over the summer? How are they going to be able to get connected well, they, with the pickleball group? They see us on the website. You can go to USAPA and see where the places to play are. I've made sure that uh, we're available on the USAPA site, which is the United States Pickleball Association. I'm also an ambassador 
Uh, what does them. that mean, ambassador? Uh, I represent the United States Pickleball Association uh, in terms of growing the sport, instructing people, teaching people about the sport, um, uh, instruction, uh, helping people set up clubs uh, locally, asking questions about how they can create their own clubs or how they can find their own courts or how they can work with the city like we've done uh, to build their own courts. Uh, the ambassadors in the organization are just that. Uh, they represent the United States Pickleball Association uh, and they're part of, if not a major part, of the growth and the direction that the Pickleball Association is going right now. What kind of people show up here? Uh, we have a life. lot of retired people. We have uh, probably 25-30% of our group are still working uh, uh, people. Uh, we have a lot of the uh, people that come in have younger uh, players, their, their kids. They come in and play. We've taught them how to play and taught their children how to play. So we've got a pretty uh, wide, pretty diversified group. But, but I would say that overall the continuously playing players are of retirement age. It's a game that everybody can play. It certainly is a nice game to get us off the couch because instead of sitting back and lamenting that we're getting old and complaining about it, we're out here running around playing pickleball.